Today we're gonna be ranking all the zombies wonder weapons from worst to best. And I quickly want to warn you, you may or may not be triggered. So make sure you got your helmets on to prevent from triggering midway through the video. To also keep you cool and healthy and shit. And basically everything like that. And if you don't agree with rankings, definitely voice your opinion in the comments and depending on what you say I'll decide whether I wanna be triggered or not and real quick these are all the new homies that actually subscribe to the channel and there are plenty more of you out there that I will shout out in the coming video so hey don't worry I got you. and if you happen to be new on the channel make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video but coming in at number 25 we have the jet gun now jet gun one word Complete shit. I mean, I actually said two words, but hey, you get what I'm trying to say. Jet gun is complete shit. If you say this is the best water weapon, you are dead to me, alright? Let's say you're on round 20 and you actually hold a trigger down, and you may be able to kill like 3-4 zombies, but after that, gun's gonna break. It's not even funny. And once this gun breaks, or this water weapon breaks, it's gonna take you shit load of time to actually rebuild it back, and you don't wanna do that. But coming in at number 24, we're talking about VR11. Now, this this is one of the wonder weapon in Call of the Dead, which is one of my favorite map, but a lot of people would say this is not a wonder weapon, like they won't class this as a wonder weapon, but we know it is a wonder weapon that is required for you to have in order to do the easter egg and shit's weird like whenever you shoot a zombie it will turn that zombie into a CIA agent and a lot of people would be looking at it and saying like what and a lot of people actually agree on the fact that uh, converting a zombie into CIA should have been in the map called 5 if you get what I'm saying because Pentagon and CIA you get what I'm saying right but it's actually in uh, Call of the Dead and if you know why that is let me know in the comments but VR11 it's uh, I would say it's better than the jet gun because let's say you're like completely like blocked by the zombie and you got your VR11 it has all the ammo in the world that you can possibly imagine you have all the ammo you shoot the zombie you spam that shit all the zombies will turn into CIA agent meaning that you won't die but coming in at number 23 we have the winter howl now I wish winter howl got remastered in Viruk but at the same time we have the wonder Wolf in the Viruk remaster which is like 10 times better than the winter howl uh, for sure but Winter Hall is an OG Wonder Weapon and I quickly want to say all these Wonder Weapons I absolutely love. They are dear to my heart, but of course this is a ranking video so we gotta rank them real hard if you get what I'm saying. But Winter Hall, I never really used it. I kinda did, but at the same time it was like so long ago and I remember it's being shit and I was just like, I'm never gonna use this thing again. So that's why it's at our number 23 spot, but at the same time this Wonder Weapon is a little bit OG, exactly what a lot of people would say, so I mean, I'm trying to show a little bit more respect but coming in at number 22 spot this is the second wonder weapon in Call of the Dead by the name of Scavenger. Now it's a sniper rifle and uh, the thing is it's shit without PhD flopper and of course PhD flopper was on Call of the Dead so if you have that and if you have this it's really good but after around 30 and 40 or around 30 or 40 it's gonna it's not gonna be useful and a lot of people that wanna actually use wonder weapons they wanna use wonder weapons to go for high rounds so uh, if the wonder weapon is not gonna perform on high rounds well what's the point of using a wonder weapon so that's why it's at over number 22 spot but coming in at number 21 we're talking about the OG uh, this gun is dear to my heart or I should say the wonder weapon it, uh, we're talking about a ray gun and a lot of people would say it's not the wonder weapon but it is a wonder weapon that's why it has that ray in the beginning but of course when we're comparing the ray gun with other wonder weapons that we got in Call of Duty zombies aka Treyarch zombies well shit's gonna get real pretty damn fast and that's why the ray gun is at our number 21 spot and of course the splash damage is just mm, absolutely love it but at the same time if you don't have the PS the flopper hey you can hurt yourself so gotta be super careful when you use the ray gun I'm just saying gotta be super careful uh, and that's why it's at our number 21 spot but coming in at number 20 spot now this is the wonder weapon that actually copied my boy slick before and we're talking about kd4 this is in uh, zetsubunashima my least favorite map if it's your favorite map hey if you say zetsubunashima is your favorite map you are dead to me all right you understand what i'm saying you are dead to me 
period. But Kitty 4 is that of our number 20 spot, and uh, it, it's basically like Slick with Fire, you know what I'm saying? And it's not that good when you actually get it, but when you upgrade it, yeah, it's a little good, and of course, it's in Black Ops 3, so uh, if you put one and one together, hey, you can actually get all cam, and that way you can have more ammo, and you can have some sort of, like, unlimited ammo and shit like that with Kitty 4 if you get the all cam, if you get what I'm saying, so, uh, I mean, it's on our 20 spot, but at the same time, I don't know, man, I just don't really feel good when I say the words Zatsubu no Shima and KD4. But coming in at number 19 spot, we have the Blunderget. Now, Blunderget is just, oh, absolutely love it, and before you get triggered, uh, we have two versions of the, the Blunderget. We got Blunderget, and we also have the uh, upgraded Blunderget by the name of Vitrolic Withering, and both of them, you can actually pack a punch, which is just, mm, absolutely love it. And Blunderget is like a shot Gun. It is super damn powerful, absolutely love it, but at the same time, it doesn't really have ammo, or I should say, when you pack punch, you only got two bullets in the chamber, which is like not that much, but at the same time, if you pap it and if you uh, pair it with double tap, shit gonna be real powerful, but at the same time, we're ranking all the different winner weapons, and that's why, while comparing this to them, hey, it comes in at our number 19 spot. But coming in at number 18, we have the Void Bow, aka noob friendly bow or whatever like noobs would always say this is the best bow this is the best bow and to some extent the pro would say it too because of course they like how it is and I would I would totally agree the gun or the wonder weapon is really unique looks beautiful shoot skulls you know what I'm saying the keeper skull basically likes forehead that's a quality meme if you get what I'm saying but hey we have the void bow at number 18 and this is one of the wonder weapon that we have in the rise on the rack by the way best map best map and uh, with all cam you have have plenty of ammo but at the same time when we're talking about ranking one of weapons it comes in at our number 18 spot but coming in at number 17 we have my boy Reagan Mark II. Absolutely love this thing. Like I said, I love all the Wonder Weapons, but of course we're ranking every single Wonder Weapon, so that's that. But Reagan Mark II, first of all, doesn't have that many ammo, and Reagan Mark II is not gonna do you well compared to other Wonder Weapons once you're like on round 40 or 50. You're gonna run out of ammo real fast, and then you would have to rely on max ammo. Only Lord knows or Treyarch knows when you're gonna get that shit, right? So yeah, Reagan Mark II comes in at our number 17 spot, and after round 50, the, it's not gonna do you any well and you're constantly gonna be running out of ammo so shit's not even funny but coming in at number 16 we have the wind staff now you may be triggered or you may not be but I actually kind of like warned you guys earlier so that's that but uh wind staff comes in at our number 16 spot and compared to other staffs this is not the best staff but some people would say it's the best staff boy it's the best but hey I don't agree I say it's the best it's one of the best for sure but it's not the best staff and compared to other one wrap and it's not really up to par but coming in at number 15 we're talking about wonder Waff. now wonder Waff is just absolutely fire i absolutely love this thing but of course it has to be on my number 15 spot but the things i like about wonder Waff is that whenever you shoot on the ground it's just gonna like kill the zombies around you or basically first of all it's gonna make them not want to hit you anymore so that's one of its quality that i absolutely love and uh, of course it's gonna electrocute all the zombies around you but like most of the time it's gonna electrocute 10 zombies that's kind of like it's limit and everything like that but at the same time you don't have that much ammo but at the same time if we're playing with this in black ops 3 hey you can have the all cam so in that regard you can have a lot of freaking ammo aka unlimited ammo if you get what i'm saying but still it has to be on my number 15 spot but coming in at number 14 we're talking about Die Rise Liquifier. Now this was, I, I remember, like prior to patch, this was the best winner weapon known to mankind. Uh, and period, might as well say that just to make my uh, sentence a little bit more powerful and catchy and a little bit more impactful. Yeah, that's the word they, they use nowadays and I'm just like, God damn. But uh, at number 14, we have Liquifier and shit's really good. Like you can camp for days on end on Die Rise with this for sure. And you shoot one zombie and it's gonna just cycle through all of the zombies zombies and the liquid is gonna flow through all of those zombies and it's just gonna kill them basically the gun is really really good but coming in at number 13 we're talking about the zap gun the the wonder weapon of moon first of all love this thing you can actually combine both of them together it's like the reagan mark 3 but not quite but uh uh it's like you have the dual wheel you can connect it together and you have different ammo type and we're talking about moon that is remastered in black ops 3 and ammo is not really a problem knowing the fact you got ken for 
44 on the wall that you can actually pack a punch and you can have dead wire on it but uh and you can also have the all chemical gobble gum so shit's really good now coming in at number 12 we're talking about the baby gun basically the jgb 1931 9 i don't know the wonder weapon of shangri-la better known as baby gun and baby gun is basically uh it's gonna make baby zombies and you can kick them real good like a soccer ball if you get what i'm saying and shit is really powerful if i had the opportunity if origins and the rise and the Rise did not exist this may be in top five if you get what i'm saying but shit's really good love this thing but coming in at number 11 we're talking about the vitrolic withering now this is a second variant of the blender get and this is from mob of the dead which is loved by the zombies community but yeah vitrolic withering is blender get that you actually upgrade and then you can actually pack a punch it works like monkey bombs when you shoot it it's the acid you shoot it on the ground it works like monkey bombs it's gonna get all those zombies attracted to itself and then it's gonna explode and sometimes it's gonna kill some zombies uh if you're on a high round then it may not but at the same time it works really damn good that's what i'm trying to say but coming in at number 10 we're talking about paralyzer one of the best winter weapons to date period it's like it works really damn good with uh, vulture which is like one of the best perk as well and it's uh, in buried which is also loved by its people a lot of people or a lot of zombies community people or people in the zombies community rather and of course when you combine this thing with vulture and when you pop it it's gonna get real and it's a solid wonder weapon but coming in at number nine we're talking about the fire stab i gave her my fire stab uh basically something that smith place said and i was like listening to his stream and i was just like what that's a that's a meme 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 if you get what i'm saying but at number nine we have the fire staff one of the best uh wonder wrap and it's one of the best uh, uh staffs as well that we got in origins and it looks really solid in uh origins remaster although origins remaster is a little bit harder and zombies are always on coco if you get what i'm saying but uh fire staff is definitely at our number nine spot and then number eight you may be triggered but hopefully you're not because uh, let me explain okay so we have the Reagan Mark 3 you may be triggered or you may not be if you're if it's coming up just hold on a second let, let me let me explain all right so Reagan Mark 3 it's a dual wheel Reagan Mark 3 it's like really solid all right it's really solid if you're getting cornered hey just tap L1 or L2 depends on your controller a control type I got alternative control type for my controller setting and whatnot so uh, I tap L1 hey no one can touch me I tap or I press R1 and I mix that shit in and boom but it has three different wonder weapon effects and if you have never uh think about this or you never thought like this i'm, I'm basically gonna blow your mind uh so basically when you shoot the left one it's gonna work like paralyzer it's gonna slow down zombies and the right one is basically like the reagan mark ii but of course it's not like uh, it's not a burst one it's a single shot but it doesn't have splash damage so hey you don't really need phd flopper which is like so so good but when you combine both of these it's gonna work Work like Gersh device and Gersh device a lot of people say it's wonder weapon but it's not wonder weapon so technically it has two different wonder weapon effects which is really really good and when you mix both of these together it's a solid wonder weapon and of course it's in Gorak Krovi meaning it's in Black Ops 3 meaning you can use the all chemical gobble gum and it's gonna be real damn solid but coming in at number seven we're talking about the lightning staff shit's crazy I don't even know it's crazy but coming in at number six we we have the wolf bow shit's crazy you shoot wolf it's crazy coming in at number five we're, we're talking about fireball shit's crazy totally embrace it now we're moving on and talking about uh, number four which is the eye staff now eye staff used to be so good in origins like in the original origins i I remember but in origins remaster it looks really good I would say that it looks uh, way better compared to the original I stab that we had in original black ops 2 origins for sure in terms of performance it's all right it's not the best it's, it's like I've used this thing so many damn times and it's like I always die staffs they are definitely legendary they are good in performance but at the same time they're not really the best and if I trigger you I'm gonna let you be triggered but uh, uh this is just my opinion 
opinion and you guys can definitely voice your opinion as well so it's like i staff is good looking it's all right in performance it's legendary but it's nowhere near close to what we got on number one but now coming in at number three we're talking about the thunder gun thunder gun i don't even have to say shit you probably already know what it does and if you have all come in black ops 3 it's game over uh when you shoot it zombie fly they are gone it's just like if you're getting stuck if you're red screen one pull you're done with the zombies it's so damn good that's why it's at our number three spot and i don't even have to explain shit right but at number two we're talking about the apothecan servant apothecan servant so good like i love the fact that you actually fist uh, right in the bum hole of that apothecan right try good memes good memes you know what i'm saying and uh, of course you got um, what what's it called I, I just forgot i was just like repeating that over and over the all cam gobble gum so once you have that it's like game over and of course in revelation you can pop this and it's like the radius gets even larger the damage gets uh, larger or extended or however you say it it's like gersh device on steroids right like you should Gersh devices on steroids basically and shit's crazy what else can I say but coming in at number one spot we're talking about that damn lightning pole like a lot of people say it's not the best and I just look at them and I'm like nibba what but of course like if it's not your favorite bow then you can totally voice your opinion in the comments it's my favorite bow but at the same time that's not the reason why I have this on my number one spot the reason is that you got all cam you have so many ammo you can spam the shit out of it if you don't don't believe me you can spam the shit out of it it's gonna kill all the zombies around you and if you hold and shoot it then it's game over no one can touch you period and you get max ammo quite a lot in the rise and drag you got the death ray trap you also got the hellhound round basically means you're gonna get a uh, max ammo every four to five rounds and you also got fuses which means you can call in the tram and you can sometimes get max ammo that way and also you got all cam like i said and cashback gobble gum everything like that and shit's really crazy and i know it was patched but dude i've been playing with this thing since day one and i had no problem if i have this on my primary and i don't even switch to my secondary and I constantly use this thing I will never die in zombies and if you are a new zombie player or if you're an OG zombie player or if you're a professional if you use this thing you will never die but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below check out some other videos on the screen if you haven't missed any of them subscribe if you happen to be new and smash the like button if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you very freaking soon